remember. Guys, this is Boo. He doesn't really like to be picked up. He's fine for you, kitten. He wants to leave, but sometimes he'll stay if I bounce him like this. Oh yeah, if you stayed through that, this is hilarious. Um, yeah, no, I have stuff to say tonight. Obviously, I always have stuff to say. Um, but I kind of want to talk about why it's kind of important to come on and talk about the shit that you're going through. It's kind of like that other video that I made a while ago that was like, remember where there was that, there was that girl and she said, I'm going to use my channel as like a therapy session because she lost her insurance and she can't afford to go to therapy. And I said, that's a great idea. And then I think other people didn't realize or didn't, maybe other people don't understand why that's a great idea. But here's another thing I think that's interesting. Sometimes you say something and someone who has some sort of affiliation to you in some way, like, some characteristic trait like a racial similarity a gender similarity a socioeconomic similarity a neighborhood like a location similarity here's you say the thing and they have never heard anyone say that thing before so like <laughs> hearing you say it is so cool and it's so revolutionary um but if they wouldn't have heard you say it they would just be under the belief that people like you don't say it um, or don't feel that way. Commentary channels are so important. And the weird thing is, a lot of people are just around like one type of person. So they actually haven't heard certain things be said by other types of people. So like, they've never heard a person from a particular racial group say X thing. They've never heard someone feel this way. They've never heard whatever it is, right? Um, so sometimes people need to hear to hear you say it. You gotta be the one to say it. And if they don't hear you say it, it becomes, it's weird. And it will never change their stereotypes until they do. Um, for instance, um, for me, before I moved to the South, I, um, there was this TV show called The Heart of Dixie. Heart of Dixie is about this New York doctor who um, is not very close with her father. She didn't grow up with him. She grew up with her mom in New York City. And she's a doctor. And her dad, like, dies. And in his will, he leaves her his medical practice. And he has a medical practice that is in um, Bluebell, Alabama. And so she picks up and moves to Bluebell, Alabama. And um, imagine being from New York and moving to Alabama. <laughs> it's a big ass change. And the little like city that she lives in is so small. It's like a really small town. Um, so the whole show is about her kind of like cultural move, the culture switch. Um, it's really funny. 
it's really great i like it a lot the show is wonderful you should watch it but uh, one of my tables today came in and they were actually from louisiana but i was i was thinking they were from the same town that this show is from so i was like yeah you know you guys are from the town and show but the show <laughs> and they were like what show and i was like the heart of dixie <laughs> <laughs> and I went to look it up and I was like, oh wow, this is so funny. This is in Alabama. This is not even the same place. Anyway, it was great. Um, <laughs> they were laughing so hard. They're like, actually, some of us have seen the show. <laughs> and another, like, it was like um, two couples and a mom. Um, and like one of the girls, she's like, I'm going to start watching that show now. <laughs> It's a great show. You should watch Heart of Dixie. I love it. Um, I could do a whole review on The Heart of Dixie and how great that show is. It's wonderful. It's thoroughly entertaining. Like, I felt like I knew so much about the South after watching that show. Only for, I, well, no, I watched all of it. It's so good. It's so good. Um, I also thought it was pretty cool. I, I don't know why a whole bunch of people from Canada are in town that's a thing um i have some other topics but i'll cover them tomorrow i just kind of went to pop in really quick and say something because we're trying to make this a normal thing thank you all oh i forgot um my name's olivia <laughs> i come on here and i kind of talk about really just things that interest me um things that are going on in my life and personal feelings it's kind of like an open diary basically this channel is turning into an open diary it was gossip girl where i talked about other people but now it's just gossip girl where i talk about myself um i have a lot of videos where i talk about myself um you should watch those like subscribe comment Again, comment. Thank you to everyone who does engage in my videos. I appreciate it. Um, I like the fact that you are, that you have an opinion, that you have something to say. I want to hear it. 